Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here like always. In today's video, our focus is going to be seed hoppers. Should you buy them? Are they worth it? Is it gonna be right for your birds? Well, let's get into it straight away with the different types of seed hoppers that I have here in the aviary and some of the ones that I've used in the past. Let's move forward with the very first seed hopper that I ever bought for the birds when I used to have about 50 cages during that time. And the very first one that I ever got was this one right here. This model is very simple. Um, pretty much what you do is you fill it with seeds like you see right here. It has this little opening in the front that allows the birds to step up, eat the seeds that are there. The seed husk, in essence, will fall down through this little opening. It goes into this bottom part down here. And then that, you can kind of pull it out, dump it, and in essence, the birds will continuously have fresh seeds up here. Now, a couple of problems with the seed hopper that I encountered very early on. Depending on the bird species, many of the birds were a little bit afraid of it at first. It took some time to get them used to the seed hoppers. So just give them some time. If you're going to move over and swap over to anything like this, don't make this their only source of food. You want to make sure that they're normal little d cup the one that you've always had in the cage is there with some seeds maybe move it closer to the seed hopper until they get used to it number two was that there were a lot of bird species that for some reason they would go ahead and they would start to peck around the bottom part of this seed hopper this section right here and they would eventually dump out every single one of the seeds so within one day they would empty out the entire seed and they would all fall into this bottom portion right here. And I would have to continuously have to move them from here to the top because all they would do was they would scavenge around trying to find the seed that they preferred and they would empty the whole entire container. Another problem that I experienced with this type of seed hopper was that the seed moths that we get sometimes in the seeds would go inside of here. They'd go in and get inside of the top part and what would happen is it would clump up. This whole entire seed that's up here would clump up and it would make it nearly impossible for seeds to come out of the bottom. So it is something that you have to be very aware of if you're buying or purchasing commercial seeds and you may have problems with seed moths. Be very careful because if any of these seed hoppers get stuck, if the seeds in there get stuck, then you're going to have a problem with the birds because it may seem like it's full. It may seem like there are seeds for the birds there. But if they're not passing through, your birds could starve to death. So you do have to keep an eye on these to make sure that they're working properly. Now, this isn't the only type of variation of seed hoppers. There's many other types of variations of seed hopper. There's another one that I purchased that I kind of preferred more than the original one that I got. And it was this one right here. Number one, because the bottom part is a bit more secure than this one that you see here. This one is very flimsy at the bottom. It wiggles, it jiggles, it, it, it comes out very easily like that. So if they were hanging on the cage, as the bird flies back and forth on the cage, the vibration from the cage itself would make this little tray slip out slowly. And once it would start to slip out, then you have an opening where some of the smaller wax bills, like for example, the orange breasted wax bills, could escape through this and get out. And now you have them flying around in your aviary versus this one right here. This tray does not come out unless you pinch it and make it come out. So it is a little bit more sturdy than the uh, brown one that we have here. It also has a bit of a smaller opening, as you can see. Let me show you real quick. As you guys can see, the uh, white one has a bit of a smaller opening, so there is less seed waste than with the other one. They don't get to scavenge around as much. They don't get to waste as much food. They don't get to empty it as quick as they would empty this other one because this one just has way more space for them to kind of swoosh around and get rid of some of that seed. While this one pretty much has about maybe half an inch over there where they can get seeds. But again, you start to encounter the same exact problems with this white one and that is you have to continuously check the hopper to make sure that it there's a good flow of seeds that there hasn't been any seed moths that have crawled in there and uh made that small webbing that makes the seeds stick together because once they start to stick together it will clog up that hopper 
And if it clogs up the hopper and the bird is not getting fresh seeds, then your bird could end up suffering and dying. And it's not a big problem when you only have five, six, 10, 15 cages. You can go through them pretty easily. When you have an aviary like this and you have 200, 250 cages, it becomes a problem because you might miss little small ones. If you don't continuously check every single one of them, then one of them could get stuck and it could become a problem for that cage. So you're probably wondering, well, which ones do you use then? Because I have both of these, but as you can see back here, none of them are hanging on the cages. So the ones that I prefer to use is this right here. This type of seed hopper or seed dish is what I use. As you can see, it has this little uh, cover on the top, which is very similar to um, pretty much like a stopper on the top so that the bird can't get inside of the seed. And what this is going to do is it prevents the birds from doing that motion on top with their beak where they're kind of scavenging and looking for their favorite seeds. Birds love to waste seeds. They love to pick only the ones that they like. So with something like this, what you end up doing is that you save a lot of time. You save a lot of seeds. This is my favorite one. I have this in every single one of my cages. And ever since I made the switch, I noticed that I was pretty much saving a lot of time. I was saving money because the birds weren't wasting as much seeds as they were wasting before. So my consumption of seeds went down. I have a lot of birds. I go through about four 50 pound bags of seeds a month. So as you can imagine, I want to cut cost downs. I wanna make sure that the birds are not wasting seeds. I wanna make sure that they're staying healthy. And this is for me, one of the best ways of doing it. Now I picked this one, it comes in various sizes. They have them in two inches, three inches, four inches. Um, I got that eight inch one because pretty much for the cages, for the birds that I have, it's the perfect size. It fits in the cage well. It allows me to hold a lot of seeds in here without having to constantly every day feed the birds. As you can see, I have three sections in my aviary. I have the far left, the middle, and the right section. And what I like to do is I feed the birds by sections. What I mean by that is, for example, on Monday, I'll feed everyone on the right side and give them water. On Tuesday, I'll do the middle. On Wednesday, I'll do this side. Then by Thursday, I jump to this section right here. Now, if I had a very small one, if I had a two inch food cup, maybe I wouldn't be able to do, you know, since I did this on Monday and they don't get food again till Thursday, maybe I wouldn't be able to do that because the smaller food cup wouldn't last as long. This big one allows these sections to have food or allows the birds to have food or enough food to be there for about three days without me having to blow the seed husk, without me having to do anything because they get to move that around. They have plenty of seeds in there. So it works out perfectly for me. It works out great for my schedule. So keep that in mind. If you have a smaller bird room, if you have less birds, maybe you'll be able to get away with it with less, maybe something smaller than this, two, three, four inches. But personally, I prefer this, especially if you're going on vacation. This has been a lifesaver for me every time I leave on vacation and I have to have someone else come in here and take care of the birds. It works great because this thing, like I said, the birds last about three days without having to change the seeds. And then also when I leave on vacation, if you have these, this is the perfect time to use them. Anytime that I leave on vacation, I go ahead and hang these right here on this side, which is where I keep all of the young birds that I've hatched during the year because many of these cages back here on uh, this side of the aviary, those cages have about five to eight birds per cage. So inside of those cages, I have two of these and then I hang one of these on the side. And what that does is it allows that cage to go on for a good five days without me having to do anything as far as seeds. So the person that's taking care of my birds doesn't have to worry about blowing seed husks doesn't have to worry about any of the birds going hungry and neither do I. I can go out and enjoy my vacation. So keep that in mind, guys. If you're struggling to figure out what type of seed hopper to use or what you can put in your cages, I've gone through all of them. I've used different types of seed hoppers. And so far, what I've found best in my case has been this right here. This has saved me a lot of money. It has saved me a lot of time. So if you guys want to go ahead and use something like this, 
Go ahead and look for it. They're very easy to find. Most pet shops have them. You can find them online on Amazon. You can find them in many different places. The only downside to this, and I'm going to tell you right now, is that unfortunately the birds, they like to perch on the sides and sometimes they do poop inside of the seeds. With these types of seed hoppers, you don't have to worry about that because there's no way the birds can go in here and poop on the seeds. So you do have to clean these a little bit better when you do blow the seeds, make sure that there are no droppings inside of the seed hoppers. But again, it saves me time, it saves me money, so I prefer to go with those. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Like always, guys, if you did, remember to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and like always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.